Rudra, Sanskrit, Rudra is a Rigvedic deity, associated with wind or storm and the hunt. One translation of the name is, the Rora. In the Rigveda, Rudra has been praised as the mightiest of the mighty. Rudra is the personification of terror. Depending upon the poetic situation, Rudra can be meant as the most severe Rora, howler could be a hurricane or tempest or the most frightening one. The Sri Rudram hymn from the Yajurveda is dedicated to Rudra, and is important in the Saivism sect. In it Rudra is referred as God of Gods, the Hindu god Shiva shares several features with the Rudra, the theonym Shiva originated as an epithet of Rudra, the adjective Shiva kind", being used euphemistically of Rudra, who also carries the epithet Aghora, Abhyankar extremely calm sick non terrifying usage of the epithet came to exceed the original theonym by the post vedic period in the sanskrit epics and the name rudra has been taken as a synonym for the god shiva and the two names are used interchangeably topic <inaudible> etymology <inaudible> <inaudible> The etymology of the theonym Rudra is somewhat uncertain. It may come from the Tamil word Uru means raw. It is usually derived from the root rud which means, to cry, howl. According to this etymology, the name Rudra has been translated as, the Rora. A Rigvedic verse Ruk Dravayathi, Eti Rudraha where Ruk means sorrow, misery, Dravayathi means drive out, eliminate, and Eti means that which. Or the one who implies that Rudra is the eliminator of evil and usher of peace. An alternative etymology suggested by Professor Pischel derives Rudra as the red one, the brilliant one from a lost root rud, red or ruddy, or alternatively, according to Grassmann, shining. Stella Kramrish notes a different etymology connected with the adjectival form Raudra, which means wild, i.e. of rude, untamed nature, and translates the name Rudra as the wild one or the fierce god. R. K. Sharma follows this alternate etymology and translates the name as the terrible in his glossary for the Shiva Sahasranama. The commentator Sayana suggests six possible derivations for Rudra. However, another reference states that Sayana suggested ten derivations. The adjective Shivam in the sense of propitious or kind is applied to the name Rudra in Rv 10.92.9. Rudra is called the archer. Sanskrit, Sava and the arrow is an essential attribute of Rudra. This name appears in the Shiva Sahasranama, and R. K. Sharma notes that it is used as a name of Shiva often in later languages. The word is derived from the Sanskrit root sav which means, to injure, or to kill, and Sharma uses that general sense in his interpretive translation of the name Sava as one who can kill the forces of darkness. The names Danvan, Bowman, and Banahasta archer, literally armed with a hand full of arrows, also refer to archery. In other contexts, the word Rudra can simply mean the number eleven. The word Rudraksha, Sanskrit Rudraksa, equals Rudra and Aksa, I or I of Rudra is used as a name both for the berry of the Rudraksha tree and a name for a string of the prayer beads made from those seeds. Equals. Topic: Rigvedic hymns. Equals. The earliest mentions of Rudra occur in the Rigveda, where three entire hymns are devoted to him. There are about 75 references to Rudra in the Rigveda overall. Epithets of fierceness and fright in the Rigveda Rudra's role as a frightening god is apparent in references to him as Gora, extremely terrifying, or simply as Asau Devam, that god. He is fierce like a formidable wild beast. RV 
Chakravarti sums up the perception of Rudra by saying, "...Rudra is thus regarded with a kind of cringing fear, as a deity whose wrath is to be deprecated and whose favor curried." RV 1.114 is an appeal to Rudra for mercy, where he is referred to as, "...mighty Rudra, the god with braided hair." In RV 7.46, Rudra is described as armed with a bow and fast flying arrows. As quoted by R. G. Bandaka, the hymn says Rudra discharges, "...brilliant shafts which run about the heaven and the earth." RV 7.46.3, which may be a reference to lightning, Rudra was believed to cure diseases, and when people recovered from them or were free of them, that too was attributed to the agency of Rudra. He is asked not to afflict children with disease RV and to keep villagers free of illness RV He is said to have healing remedies RV as the best physician of physicians RV and as possessed of a thousand medicines RV this is described in Shiva's alternative name Vaidyanatha, Lord of Remedies. Equals. Topic: Epithets of Supreme Rule. Equals. A verse from the Rig Veda, RV 2.33.9, calls Rudra the Lord or Sovereign of the Universe. Isanadasya Bhuvanasya. A verse of Sri Rudram equals Yajurveda 16.18 speaks of Rudra as Lord of the Universe. Jagatam Pate Nama Jagatam Pate Namaha. Homage to the Lord of the Universe. Another verse Yajurveda 16.46 locates Rudra in the heart of the gods, showing that he is the inner self of all, even the gods. Devanam Dayavyo Namo Devanam Rideabhyo Namo Salutations to him who is in heart of the gods. In a verse popularly known as the Mahamrachunjaya Mantra, both Rig Veda and Yajur Veda recommend worshipping Rudra to attain moksha liberation. Triambakam Yajamahe Sugandim Puschavadanam Urvaru Kamiva Bandanan Murchal Muxi Yamamtat We worship Triambika, sweet augmenter of prosperity. As from its stem a cucumber, may I be freed from the bonds of death, not reft of immortality. In the Taittiriya Aranyaka of Yajurveda Rudra is identified as the universal existent, all this, and thus as the Purusha supreme person or inner self of the Vedas. Savo vi rudrastasmai rudraya namo astu Puruso vi rudra san maho namo nama Visvam bhutam bhuvanam sitram bahuda jatam jayamanam ca yat Savo haisa rudrastasmai rudraya namo astu 1 All this verily is rudra. To rudra who is such we offer our salutation. We salute again and again that being, Rudra, who alone is the Purusha and the soul of creatures. The material universe, the created beings, and whatever there is manifoldly and profusely created, in the past and in the present, in the form of the world—all that is indeed this Rudra. Salutations be to Rudra who is such. The Taittiriya Aranyaka of Yajurveda 1.10.1 identifies Rudra and Brihaspati as sons of Bhumi earth and heaven. The translations below need to be cleaned up, the transliteration standardized, the so-called modern translation should be removed, because it is not necessary or helpful. Do these lines constitute a single verse, or are they separate verses drawn from different places in the text? That needs to be made clear. Topic: <inaudible> Relation to other deities. Rudra is used both as a name of Shiva and collectively the Rudras, as the name for the Marats. Marats are storm gods, 
associated with the atmosphere. They are a group of gods, whose number varies from 2 to 60, sometimes also rendered as 11, 33 or 180 in number i.e., 3 times 60, CRV 8.96.8. The Rudras are sometimes referred to as the sons of Rudra, whereas Rudra is referred to as father of the Marats. RV 2.33.1 Rudra is mentioned along with a litany of other deities in RV 7.40.5. Here is the reference to Rudra, whose name appears as one of many gods who are called upon. One scholiast interpretation of the Sanskrit word via, meaning, ramifications, or branches, is that all other deities are, as it were, branches of Vishnu, but Ralph T. H. Griffith cites Ludwig as saying, This gives no satisfactory interpretation, and cites other views which suggest that the text is corrupt at that point. Post-Rigvedic hymns In the various recensions of the Yajurveda is included a litany of stanzas praising Rudra, Maitrayani Samhita 2.9.2, Kathika Samhita 17.11, Taittiriya Samhita 4.5.1, and Vajrasani Samhita 16.1-14. This litany is subsequently referred to variously as the Satarudriam, the Namakam because many of the verses commence with the word Nama backquote homage backquote, or simply the Rudram. This litany was recited during the Agnikayana ritual, the piling of Agni, and it later became a standard element in Rudra liturgy. A selection of these stanzas, augmented with others, is included in the Paripalada Samhita of the Atharvaveda PS 14.3.4. This selection, with further PS additions at the end, circulated more widely as the Nilarudram or Nilarudra Upanishad. Topic: <laughs> The president of the Ramakrishna Mission, at Chennai, in commentating on the foreword to Swami Amritananda's translation of Srirudram and Purushasuktam, stated that, "...Rudra to whom these prayers are addressed is not a sectarian deity, but the Supreme Being who is omnipresent and manifests himself in a myriad forms for the sake of the diverse spiritual aspirants." Srirudram occurs in the fourth kanda of the Taittiriya Samhita in the Yajur Veda. It is a preeminent Vedic hymn to Lord Shiva as the god of dissolution, chanted daily in Shiva temples throughout India. The prayer depicts the diverse aspects of the Almighty. The Sri Rudram hymn is unique in that it shows the presence of divinity throughout the entire universe. We cannot confine the qualities of the divine to those that are favorable to us. The Lord is both garden and graveyard, the slayer and the most benevolent one. The Almighty is impartial and ubiquitous, in it Rudra is described as the most dreaded terrorizer frightening. Sri Rudram describes Rudra the Vedic deity as the personification of terror. Rudra comes from ru meaning Raw or howl, the words dreaded or fearsome could only be used as adjectives to Rudra and not as Rudra, because Rudra is the personification of terror. Dra is a superlative meaning, the most. So Rudra, depending on the poetic situation, can be meant as the most severe roarer, howler, could be a hurricane or tempest, or the most frightening one. Topic. Rudra and Shiva Shiva as we know him today shares many features with Rudra, and Shiva and Rudra are viewed as the same personality in Hindu scriptures. The two names are used synonymously. Rudra, the god of the roaring storm, is usually portrayed in accordance with the element he represents as a fierce, destructive deity. The oldest surviving text of Hinduism is the Rig Veda, which is dated to between 1700 and 1100 BC based on linguistic and philological evidence. 
A god named Rudra is mentioned in the Rig Veda. The name Rudra is still used as a name for Shiva. In RV 2.33, he is described as the father of the Rudras. A group of storm gods, the hymn 10.92 of the Rigveda states that deity Rudra has two natures, one wild and cruel Rudra, another that is kind and tranquil Shiva. The Vedic texts do not mention bull or any animal as the transport vehicle Vahana of Rudra or other deities. However, post-Vedic texts such as the Mahabharata and the Puranas state the Nandi bull, the Indian Zebu, in particular, as the vehicle of Rudra and of Shiva, thereby unmistakably linking them as same. In Sikhism The tenth Sikh guru, Guru Gobind Singh describes the incarnation of Rudra in his book The Dasam Granth. The canto is titled Rudra Avatar. See also Rudras Rudra Sampradaya Rigvedic deities Marats Vayu Rudra life equals equals notes